In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to your Vercel project. So what you need to do is first log into Vercel and then find your project. I'm just using this very simple to do list app. So we're going to click on that. And once you've clicked on it, you can see the domain currently is a Vercel domain. So if we click on it, it will take us to the app. You can use anything. I'm just using this app as an example. So we need to record video and you can see this to-do list is working. So we're going to connect a custom domain to this. So once we've clicked on the project, you need to go to settings in the top right hand corner, then go to domains. And once you're in domains, you'll see the default domain. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add a custom domain. So here what we need to do is open up the GoDaddy account. Now you need to obviously be logged in, then go to my account, go to domains, and we're looking for the domain we need to connect. So in my case, we will connect searchbasedmethod.com. So if you go ahead and click on that, it will then take you inside of your domain. Now from here, what we need to do is go ahead and just copy the domain. So here is my domain, searchbasedmethod.com. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. Now you can also type it in, but I just copy it because it's easier. So copy the domain and then paste it into the domain section, then click add. Now it's going to give you some options. I would just select the first one, which is going to add www.yourdomain.com and redirect it to yourdomain.com. So go ahead and click add. And it's then going to give you two more options of connecting your domain. The first one is going to be for adding the DNS records. But the most easiest way to do it is just by updating the name servers. So click on name servers, then enable Versal DNS. It will then show you the current name servers of your domain and the updated ones. So these are going to be the updated ones, the Verso ones you need to change it to. Here are the current name servers. So what we'll do is we'll go and add these ones here to our domain. So here on our domain, you want to go to DNS. Inside DNS, you see all your DNS records and you'll also see name servers. So click on name servers. And then here you can see you're using the default name servers. We need to change the name servers. Click I'll use my own. Then you got name server one, name server two, and you want to just copy in the first name server from Vercel. So make sure you're copying the Vercel ones and not the current ones. So name server one, we'll paste that in and we'll do the same with name server two. Very simple stuff. We'll just copy and paste into name servers. Now we've done that, we'll click save and that should then edit and update those. Now it can take up to 48 hours to propagate. We just need to continue and verify this. So let me just do that and enter in the password. Like I was saying, it can take up to 48 hours. So once you made changes, they may not go through straight away, but just follow what I'm doing and it will work. So we're gonna enter in the password. I'm gonna verify this and then those changes should then go through. Your request is in progress. So that's all good. So I'm gonna refresh this now and we'll see if the name servers have changed. Okay, so now we are using Vercel's name servers, which is fine. We can now go back and obviously you can see them refreshing and they've updated basically live on video. Now, one thing that is going to take a little bit longer is going to be the SSL certificate. It can take up to 48 hours for everything to propagate globally, but let's just see if it is working. So I'll copy the domain. We'll then head over to an incognito window. And once we do that, and go to the domain, it should be working. It may give us, yep, this SSL error. This is only appearing because the SSL certificate has not generated yet. You just have to be patient and wait for this to be fully generated. Go, it's disappeared. Well, let's try it again on video. So what we'll do, we'll paste in our domain, we'll click enter, and there you go. Now the SSL certificate has updated. It's taken us to our project, and that is as simple as it is to connect a GoDaddy domain.